Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher, I'm from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Tristan Layfield from Detroit, Michigan. Hi Tristan, how are you doing? Hello Meher, I'm doing well, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So Tristan, he is on a mission to help millennials flourish in their careers by building a brand around what they, what they are good at and enjoy to do. He helps them identify their interests and develop a plan to hone in on, in on those skills in their careers. He's a career coach and as resume writer, he, approach, he approaches career development with clients by combining their own personal branding with their career field. Welcome, Trishan. So Trishan, tell us more about yourself. What are you doing these days? Yeah, so as you said, I'm the owner and head career coach of Layfield Resume Consulting. Um, and you gave a really nice introduction there. And really, I guess what I'd add on here is that my practice is rooted in personal leadership and self-advocacy, mm -hmm. right? It really helps uh, it helps empower job seekers to effectively communicate their value and attract their ideal employers, right? So, um, you know, currently I, I've been doing a lot of that, uh, whether it's through document creation, LinkedIn profile optimizations, mm -hmm. uh, you know, career coaching executive coaching, all of those type of things, really making sure that people are figuring out the best pathways to achieve the goals that they have in their careers. Yeah. And in that sense, my first question for you is, we know that we had a lot of layoffs. So a lot of job seekers are looking for a job. Sometimes I hear from my coworkers that if they post one job, they get thousands of resumes. So what tips you have for job seekers to distinguish themselves from others when applying for a job? Yeah, that's a really, really good question. And I think the first thing that is important is that you need to understand what makes you different in the work that you do, right? So we know there's hundreds of people that do the work that you do, more than likely. And so we have to figure out what makes us different and how we make a difference in the work we do, because that's going to be your selling point. Right? That's the thing that you're really going to hone in on when you're writing those summaries on your resume or maybe in your LinkedIn profile. Um, the next thing is you need to tailor your resume to the jobs that you're applying to, right? Um, just because you're looking for a marketing role, let's say, doesn't mean that that marketing role is going to be the exact same thing across different organizations or different institutions. So we need to tailor our resume um, and we need to also one of the things I like to do inside of resumes is infuse a small pop of color, something that helps you stand out. Nothing that's outrageous, right? We don't want to get into the fluorescent uh, uh, colors, but we want to we want to infuse a small pop of color. I've reviewed over 2,500 resumes in my time of doing this, and only about a handful of them have ever come to me with color in them, and they're immediately the ones that have stood out compared to all the rest of the standard black and white ones. Um, favorite color you recommend, or it depends on personality of the candidate? <laughs> Um, I think it depends on personality of the candidate, you know, blues, greens, those tend to work pretty well. Um, I've even ventured into the reds, um, purples sometimes, things like that. Um, I think that's a really hidden power color, purple, personally, it's one of my favorite colors. Um, the I, other thing that I... I use purple. <laughs> I, I love purple. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, yeah. The other thing that I think people can do to help stand out is build a robust LinkedIn profile that speaks mm -hmm. to your experience, skill set, and difference, but also utilize that profile. Network with people, engage with other people's content, because you never know who's watching, and who's looking, who may see your profile and actually come and reach out to you. Um, and then the last thing, the very last thing, but I think it's quite possibly the most important thing in a job search is focusing on networking, mm -hmm. building your network through informational interviews and starting to really trans transition those relationships into relationships where people are becoming advocates for you, where they're actually maybe throwing your hat in the ring for you when you're not in the rooms, or maybe potentially providing you referrals, because referrals make you 15 times more likely to actually land a role than just applying online. So I think those are really the high level tips that I would provide people when they're really trying to stand out um, in this really competitive job search atmosphere. And those are great tips, Trisha, and I appreciate that. And for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Trisha a couple of questions. And every day uh, I will post them so that you can have a journey with us. You can like and share all the videos, like and share the ones that you like, leave comments. We like to have this as an interactive uh, uh, interview as possible. So tune in uh, tomorrow for another question with Trisha.